I think it can be confusing. Um, we get a lot of questions every day. CT is, in layman's terms, an x-ray machine hooked up to a computer. When we are scanning the patient, we lay the patient flat on the table. CT uses a thin, pencil-thin beam to take cross-sectional images of the patient's body. The beam rotates around the patient's body, and we slice the patient's body like a loaf of bread. That's how CT scans. It's utilizing radiation to take the images. It needs to be quick because in this day and age, of course, the biggest concern that we have being in imaging and radiology is to keep the doses as low and as safe as possible, but still give us that good quality diagnostic study. MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. MRI images the water molecules in the body, and it does that with a very strong magnetic field, which is the big cylindrical tube. That's the magnetic field in there. So if the patient were to lay down on the table right now, we would place their, their shoulder into that coil and between the radio frequency, the strong magnetic field and the coil, which acts as an antenna, we are going to produce images of the soft tissue and the bone with MRI. I think that's one of the things that patients get the most confused on. You know, a typical MRI is gonna take at least 30 minutes. A CT scan is typically five minutes. CT is going to be excellent for the organs in the body. It's going to be excellent for bony detail. MRI, on the other hand, uses no radiation at all. It's using a strong magnetic field and radio frequency. And its specialty is soft tissue. I would definitely send them to CDI. I would send them there because I know what kind of quality scan they're going to get and the radiologist reading it on the other end is very good at what they do and so I just don't know how you could get any better.